Hello everybody, welcome back to our YouTube channel. We're going over the Wix.com and the ad features. So in our previous videos, we were going over the bookings, and I promised you that today we're going to go over something a little bit different, but not too far. We're going to go over the events. When you go over to the strip for the ad features, scroll all the way down to see events, and here you are. And before we can continue and I explain to you how to exactly create and manage your events, please hit subscribe and drop a comment and tell me what you think of the videos or what you would like to see next. Alright, so once you go over to the ad features, you go down to events, when you're here, you're going to see since it's not available on this template for the moment, we're going to add the site, let it load, and it loads pretty quickly depending on your internet and, or your Wi-Fi access. And here we go. Now this is adding Wix events. And if you remember on the other features that we're using, like the blogs, the content manager, and we were talking about uh, the bookings, it's going to be found in your dashboard as well for manage events. So this is just going to create a link. So uh, when you come down uh, for events, you see bookings here, and you're going to have my store. And well, that's the quick ones here, but we need to go a little bit different for the events. Now, since this is a template, just like the bookings, just like the store, you, when you have the template, you can change the video, the video, you can change the pictures, the border lines, the text, and the size of this, all in the same way. Uh, so when you, when you go to manage events, it's going to take you to the dashboard the same way as I explained to you before. And the dashboard, I'm going to let it load for just a moment. All right, and now you see in our dashboard our store products, the store orders, the booking calendar, and the events, right? So it slowly builds as you're adding them. You can do ticketed events, uh, RSVP event. Uh, let's do, hmm, let's do the ticket events for today. Click continue, and here you go. And you're going to create a ticketed event. So, of course, the guests register by buying tickets. You can give the event name. Let's just say because it's a car, car show, car show, and you can add a picture, something kind of fancy, whatever you have. And now when you do this, this is exactly going to take you to the photo editor to upload your pictures. Uh, the short teaser, like what you can expect. You give the date and time. The, uh, you can give the end time if you want, if not the time zone. You can even show to display the time zone uh, here. The location. You can give a physical location or you can put it online. So the physical location, you just add that address here. Uh, or the avenue name and on that line, you can do an online event, a webinar, the title. And there's several ways to instruct guests about your online word and it's going to show you a little bit. Uh, video conferencing. For example, if it's a video conferencing uh, where you want to show it with like, again, Zoom, uh, you can put your account you're using right here. So you can set that up. You can connect to Zoom, generate the link, and, and, and link it in here as well. So you would just click on set, set Up, and it's going to get you going. The event schedule, you can build a schedule that will help you discover more content as well. You can do this, click. Uh, about your event, tell a little bit about it. And of course, just like how you would in Word, you have your bolds, your italics, underlines, your hyperlinks. So again, you, you can use this link uh, add feature to exactly put your zoom if you're doing zoom or if you have another website however that you see fit uh, when you go to create event you must add on my event car show uh, the location uh, <laughs> so let's see we can title or you can say car show um, we're not going to do that create event uh, and the car show is ready to go pretty quickly, right? And you get paid. This is the same to set up this payment methods you've seen before. Uh, your tickets. When you go to tickets, you have the event details. You get started for sale or for free. When you do it for sale, just like for your stores, the ticket price, US dollars, you can change your currency to however you want, whichever country you're in, or the price. We're going to keep it with dollars. Let's say it's going to be $7. 
you remember the coupons I showed you about? You can add a coupon as well. The same same situation. Pass fee on to buyer. Uh, this is for like who pays for the fee, like the ticket price, then the service fee, and then it gives the amount. For example, like for taxes. Uh, or you can pay the fee. That means that you pay for it, and uh, the price will be less for them, but you must pay the taxes, for example. All right, the ticket policy. This is your event ticket. Uh, you can create your own text to let them know hey this is not refundable this is only for one time blah 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 you can give them what information about that ticket uh, that you want to give so this is yours as custom now they already have this uh, preset for you if you like this keep it if not create your own policy for the ticket if you like it leave it again ticket name like how they said early bird for example right my bird Say car show again just for to show you. Click save. Now this is your ticket. Boom. Set. How fast is that, right? And there you can create your coupons again the same. Registration. Registration settings. Uh, so you can choose how guests actually can register for your event, if not for a ticket, on my Wix, on a different page or web address, and or maybe they don't need to register. It's your decision. Uh, if it's going to be redirected to a different page that you create or another website, just put the link in here, uh, the well, the web address. And once they do that, <clears throat> it takes them straight there, and then they can register. We don't need to register. We're going to set save, and it's going to take you back. All right. We're going to go back to the emails. Email alerts, get updates when people RSVP. You can set that as well. Email alerts, get updates when they do this or not. Per RSV, daily, whichever you want. It's entirely your choice. Uh, default emails, you can put your own special, well, your notifications about this event. Let guests know when their spot is confirmed. You can. You can edit this if you'd like. Confirmation email, which is a really good idea. I think that allowing them to know that their order is in, actually in place, perfect, right? So it's going to be great. The subjects, thanks for registering. You can put your subject, you can change it, just highlight, delete if you like it, again, keep it. Uh, you can send a special message for them. Oh, thank you so much for going to the car show that we're having. Don't forget to bring special items, blah, blah, blah. The event details again. Uh, it would be kind of cool to keep that event detail uh, the same as what you're when they click on the site, right? Link to the description. You can you can take this off if you don't want. Create a calendar event if you want to do it to your Google Calendar uh, to your website. You can if not, click it off. Uh, if you want to include a PDF ticket in the email, uh, giving them that option to show it on their phone, of course you can give that to them too. Or if not, you can edit it. If we're gonna save that confirmation email. Let's go back. Your orders. See, right now we have no orders for the event, and you can do a guest event. So as they're registering, as they're RSVPing, you're going to have that, and then you can set up the guest list. You can kind of see all that hand in hand, just like the customer management. You have all, all that information for you to see how many people you sold. You can kind of do your analytics to it. It's perfect. All right, and that's... That's exactly it. And when you want to change the pictures, it's going to be in the just the same as the other features here. Car show, and this is going to show up on our page. When you go to manage event, the settings, of course, the Wix events. You have main, my events, the car show, multiple events, a single event, car show. We don't have multiple events, just one. Uh, so you can set so like man, upcoming and past, past events, upcoming events again. You can change the layout. Remember the layout, the display, the text, the design? Well, that's the same. Nothing changes. It's, it's the same setup as you would with the galleries or your blogs, etc. Uh, so cards per row. Remember we went over through that. You can change the ratio of the layout, how you want the display, and, and even the design. If you want a background for it, you can customize it. If not, the hover options, the event info, all of that is up to you. Of course, you can upgrade, and it gives you special options as well, which we'll go over a little later down the road. Again, stretching. Again, for the the bookings, the 
galleries, this, you can stretch it to a page. Remember I was telling you about full width, right? We can say, ah, oh, choo choo here, a little bit there, a little bit here. You have, or if you maybe you just want to custom stretch it with your hands, you can. All right, and this is the, well, the events, the events calendar. Pretty fast, pretty easy. I didn't put a picture on, uh, but it's very simple too to add that picture and it's even better when you actually use the template again because if you're a little bit shaky and you're not too sure of yourself on doing it that template allows you so you can just go delete the picture add a picture change the name all right here on the website without having to go to the manager system and that's it so you have about like 10 minutes and i've did this in about 10 minutes but not really giving any information so let's say 15 minutes and you've just created an event so for us like again we did the car show because it's a car site, you can do anything. Again, conferencing, we went over that. And if you wanted to give it free just to let them know, you have it. All right, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow us again on the next video. And we're going to go over some of the members on how to kind of manage the members and what to do. And the login bars, the events. We're going to go over all of this information on our next video. So don't waste any time. Do follow us so you can catch up on all of our future videos. And I'll be waiting for you. Have a wonderful day, guys.